ever wondered why certain metallic meteorites show traces of a magnetic field? This has been a long-standing puzzle, a cosmic conundrum that has intrigued scientists for years. To understand this mystery, we must first dive into the concept of planetary magnetism. It's an essential key to understanding not just the internal structure, but also the evolution of many celestial bodies. The cores of Earth, Mercury, and two of Jupiter's moons, Ganymede and Io, all generate detectable magnetic fields. There are even traces of ancient magnetism found on Mars and Earth's moon. Now let's turn our gaze towards meteorites, those small space rocks that have fallen to Earth. Some of these meteorites contain hints of magnetism. Iron meteorites, to be specific, bear the remnants of an internally generated magnetic field, a phenomenon that, on the surface, shouldn't be possible. Although iron meteorites are thought to represent the metallic cores of asteroids, these cores are not expected to have the highly specific internal characteristics necessary to simultaneously generate and record magnetism. So what's going on here? Enter the world of asteroids. These small planetary bodies, under certain conditions, collide with each other. Yale scientists Zhong Tian Zhang and David Berkovici propose that these collisions can lead to the formation of metal asteroids. These newly formed entities can generate a magnetic field and record the magnetism by their own materials. Small fragments of these asteroids carrying the traces of magnetism could then fall to Earth as meteorites. This theory may provide the missing piece of the puzzle, explaining the mystery of magnetism in metallic meteorites. The scientific model suggests that after an asteroid collision, it is possible for new, iron-heavy asteroids to form. These asteroids possess a cold rubble pile inner core, surrounded by a warmer liquid outer layer. When the colder core begins to draw heat from the outer layer, and lighter elements such as sulfur are released, it initiates convection, which in turn creates a magnetic field. So the question is, how can these metallic cores, which are not expected to have the specific internal characteristics necessary, simultaneously generate and record magnetism? Enter Yale scientists Zhong Tian Zhang and David Berkovici with a fascinating proposition. These researchers are shaking up the scientific community with their hypothesis, a theory that collisions between asteroids just might be the secret to the formation of metal asteroids capable of generating and recording magnetism. But let's back up a step. What exactly is a collision between asteroids? Picture two celestial bodies meeting in the vast expanse of space, their gravitational forces pulling them into a high-stakes cosmic dance. When these asteroids collide, they shatter into countless fragments, scattering in all directions. It's a breathtaking spectacle, a testament to the raw power and unpredictability of the universe. Now you might be wondering how these shattered fragments relate to the generation of a magnetic field. Well, this is where the concept of rubble pile asteroids comes into play. These are asteroids that are not one solid piece of rock, but are instead formed by gravitational forces pulling together fragments from previous collisions into new combinations. Essentially, their space's version of a jigsaw puzzle. Zhang and Berkovici were inspired by these rubble pile asteroids. They began to wonder if the process that forms these asteroids could also be responsible for creating a magnetic field. They postulated that the violent collisions could result in the formation of new iron-heavy asteroids. These asteroids, they hypothesized, could have a cold, rubble-pile core surrounded by a warmer, liquid outer layer. As the core starts to draw heat from the outer layer, lighter elements like sulfur are released, kick-starting convection, which in turn generates a magnetic field. In essence, they're suggesting that these asteroid collisions could create miniature planets, complete with a magnetic field. And if these newly formed asteroids were to break apart, their fragments could fall to Earth as meteorites, carrying with them the traces of their magnetic past. So, could this rubble pile phenomenon be the missing link in understanding the generation of a magnetic field in metallic meteorites? Well, that's the million dollar question. And these Yale scientists are determined to find the answer. So, how did these scientists go about testing their theory? To understand this, we delve into the world of scientific modeling. Zhong Tian Zhang and David Berkovici from Yale University used their expertise to model the possible outcomes of asteroid collisions. They considered a scenario where the aftermath of a collision could lead to the formation of new, metal-rich asteroids. Here's where it gets fascinating. In their model, 
These newly formed asteroids have a unique structure. They consist of a cold rubble pile inner core, surrounded by a warmer, liquid outer layer. Imagine a cold stone at the heart of a molten shell. This distinct configuration is key to the generation of a magnetic field. The disparate temperatures between the inner core and the outer layer initiate a process known as convection. If you've ever watched a lava lamp in action, you've seen convection. It's the movement that happens when parts of a fluid heat up, become less dense, and rise, while cooler parts sink. In the context of these asteroids, the cold core begins to draw heat from the outer layer. This action sets up a circulation of material within the asteroid, creating convection currents. As this convection gets underway, lighter elements like sulfur are released. This release initiates further internal movement, stirring up the magnetic materials within the asteroid. And as these materials move, they generate a magnetic field. It's a bit like how Earth's magnetic field is generated by the movement of molten iron within its core. According to their model, this magnetic field could persist for several million years, long enough for its presence to be detected in iron meteorites by scientists billions of years later. This theory provides a plausible explanation for the mysterious magnetism observed in certain metallic meteorites. It's an intriguing piece in the vast puzzle of our universe's history and a testament to the power of scientific inquiry and modeling. So, what does all this mean for our understanding of planetary magnetism? Well, the key findings of this research offer a thrilling new perspective. Yale scientists propose that under certain conditions, asteroid collisions can form metal asteroids capable of both generating a magnetic field and recording the magnetism with their own materials. This challenges previous theories that such a feat was impossible for these celestial bodies. These findings are significant, and not just for meteorites. They provide new insights into the formation of magnetic dynamos at the core of planets. Planetary magnetism is fundamental to understanding the internal structure and evolution of celestial bodies. It is the driving force behind the magnetic fields of Earth, Mercury, and some of Jupiter's moons. These findings reinforce the notion that the universe is a complex web of intricate mechanisms. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the universe, each discovery brings us a step closer to understanding the intricate mechanisms that govern celestial bodies.